Greetings, comrades, and welcome to another episode of Crisis in the Kremlin. Uh, I got some advice since I recorded the last episode from my first subscriber ever, Gabriel Bello. So, shout out to you, my man. <laughs> You're a big, big help. Uh, both gameplay-wise and just the fact that if I didn't get that first subscriber, who oh boy, might not have continued doing this. Now, what he said is that we could try putting more mind to education, and maybe that would help with the culture thing. So let's, let's try with that. First we have to get more soldiers, of course. Ooh, the Pope. Some figures suggest to organize the first meeting with the Pope in art history, declaring the end of violent atheism. Sure. Today, first meeting between the Pope and later the USSR took place. Diplomatic relations are created. Does that do anything furtively? No, it does not. The World Festival. Primary, things of the f primary themes of the festivals, peace, rights of youth, independency of nations, propaganda of internationalism, communistic, socialistic, and religious took active part in festivals. Festivals were attended by youth who were against fascism and military dictatorships. Radical left-wing organizations were allowed to take part in it, including those which are legal in their home countries. We talked a lot about horrors of fascism and New World War. Now it's time for another World Festival of Youth and Students. Which slogan will we choose now? Uh, victory over imperialism, solidarity and Marxist changes, against imperialism for solidarity and social justice. Respecting our past, we build our future. For peace, solidarity and social change, globalize the fight for peace, solidarity and development, festival should be informal. Now state slogans? I'm guessing that means no state slogans. Uh, I think this looks good. Victory over imperialism, solidarity, and Marxist changes. In 1980s, the festival, which was created for the sake of free communication, became a strict and formal event. During the festival, Soviet citizens who weren't part of delegations were banned from communicating with foreigners in a program of festival was designed in order for foreigners to speak only with our trusted men and loyal. Trusted and loyal men. Well, that's not too good, I don't think at least. Let's see. Doesn't seem like a day thing for the council. Uh, let's extract a few resources from our fine Algerian brothers. Do we also? Yeah, we don't have anything in the reserve. Geez. Geez. Well, now we have some money. Gonna take a little bit away from cultural alignment. Put some in state mechanism because I also looked up and apparently you're not supposed to have more in a one thing than state mechanism. I uh, don't know if that's true, but whatever. Increase this to 100. And then also increase computerization. And let's see. What else could we do? Cultural contentment apparently increased, which is nice. I don't know why it increased, but I'll take it. And everything else looks relatively fine. Oh, right, so we can increase citizens income from what I know by increasing other social spendings. So maybe we'll look into that. Intervision. The song competition Intervision song contest created by the International Radio and Television Organization or the OIRT it took place in Sopot during 1977-1980s together with four international song festivals of Sopot. We can try and recreate it after its cancellation because of instability in Poland, but we could also take part in Eurovision. Or we could just ignore it. 
Ah, you know what? We'll make the festival again. Because I think that looks uh, pretty nice. We can have a bit more cultural alignment. For a third time, we took the first place during the Inner Vision. Hang the same amount of gold medals as a country with the most medals, Czechoslovakia. Everyone is satisfied. Money weren't wasted. Oh. It spent money. It also increased cultural contentment by a lot, so that's that's fine with me. As long as we can extract resources from Algeria, money is no problem. Do 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 do. Very nice. So let's increase other social spendings. Because that should increase luxuries. And then, uh... Probably just more in civil technology and computerization, yeah. Or just computerization, maybe. Let's see, can we get another round of money from Algeria? We're going to get another round of money if we can't do military aid. Okay, so no more after that, but... Can do this. And we can... Uh, let's see. What What should we do, actually? I think... Maybe we'll just put more money into the reserve. That sounds fine. Everything is quiet. Oh, right, we have more Tania now. I didn't even notice. Oh, well. First of all. Kinda, kinda being risky on Algeria right there. But oh, well. If they revolt, we'll just get them back. Liberalization in China. Oh no. After the beginning of students' manifestation on the Tiananmen Square, during which protests were made against the rise of corruption, legal entrepreneurs' deals, parties' apparatus, and for democrat democratization of... I don't know why I couldn't even say that. Of the administration... Then Siopin, under pressure of officials, protesters, and Western society, retired. Then the whole Politburo and CC retired. During the CPC Congress, Zhao Ziyang saved the position of General Secretary. He also gave his supporters a place in the party. And a program of acceleration of economic and political reform was declared. Year ended with complete demoralization. His rulership was admitted to be strictly negative. I mean, all three of these are fine. They betrayed Marxism. They left the socialistic methods of management and the socialistic methods of economy. Uh, most importantly, we'll just say they betrayed Marxism. And relations are extremely low. What can you do? Sometimes you just gotta tell the revisionists as it is. Now then, how is cultural contentment looking? Still decreasing slowly. Not great, and oh god. Russia, very disloyal. Oh, I can eliminate the disloyal. Holy shit, I, I wasn't aware. That was a thing. Hang on. So, 
Most of these are pro-Soviets, but the head of government for Russia is a moderate. Okay, no, definitely... Let's eliminate the disloyal. Jesus. So that decreases the loyalty of the KGB, but uh, we'll just fix that out by giving them a little more money. And we'll also give money to the army. Now, when we do get to 3,000 uh, research points, we can finally go to Ogas. And I think that is the end game. I believe we win if we actually manage to do it successfully. Romania wants to exit OWP. Oh no. Both people in the government are unhappy with their policies. After a series of retirements and protests, new government condemns your policy concerning the Eastern Bloc. Uh, send the army. Soldiers successfully disperse the protesters. Under our pressure, old politicians return to their positions. Protesters' leaders were arrested. It happens. So everything is quiet and profit decreased for some reason. All right, well, that was a technology. We're looking fine now. Cultural contentment is stabilized, it seems. USA is slowly collapsing. Very good. And we apparently got Senegal just because, I guess. Uh, can we get more money from Algeria? Let's see. We can get a little bit more. And then we will raise Mauritania a little more.